Oh, baby boy, sweet baby Lord Jesus Christ, Mother of God, thank you for the bounty that we have. In Jesus' name, amen. Ugh. That's how I should start every video. Hello and welcome to the last episode of Slay the Princess. Uh, we technically finished it last time on the last episode. We got a couple of endings just to see what options there were. Um, we kind of got like, I think I would probably guess the default ending where you kind of just play through the game. And then you interact with the princess. Ah! Oh my god. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that this... Uh, uh, intro menu changes. Um, so we got that, and we got the one where we kind of like reject the princess and kill her or whatever. So we're gonna try to get the rest of these endings in this episode. So if you have not played Slay the Princess yet, and you kind of want to explore stuff on your own, I would highly recommend you go do that now before you watch the rest of this video. Um. Other than that, I'll put, like, uh, chapters below on the YouTube, um, thing. The first time I'll ever use YouTube chapters, so that'd be cool. Um, and I'll try to keep it vague enough that if you do come across this video and you click on it, I'm not gonna have, like, an ending that says, Murdered Princess by doing this. I'll, I'll try to keep it vague or maybe use, like, the achievement names for these endings. But let's, uh, get to it. There's a pretty easy one right off the get-go. And we're going to uh, just do it. <laughs> we're going to just do it. Chapter 1. The Hero and the Princess. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. In this run, we are going to get the good ending. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Then we're just going to continue to the cabin. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Princesses are friends, not food. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult shink, to slay the princess shink. and save the world shink, without shink. it. Shink, shink, shink. Enter the basement. The door to the basement shink, creaks open, shink, revealing shink, a staircase shink, faintly shink, illuminated shink, by an unseen light shink, in the room below. Shink, 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 shink. This is an oppressive place. The shink, air feels heavy and damp, and a shink. hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. Shink, 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 shink. The, her voice oh. carries up the stairs. Who's there? Shink, shink, shink. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Continue down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the shake, princess. Shake, shake, There's shake, a heavy chain around her shake, wrist, binding shake, shake. her to the far wall of the basement. Shake. She's so coldly beautiful. Shake, 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 shake. Is she shake, really a threat to shake, the world? Shake, shake. Uh, shank you. Focus <laughs> on the task at hand. Ah, oh, shanks. <laughs> and there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Shank, shank, shank. Steal your nerves and step forward. You step forward. 
your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Hmm, how about a shank? <laughs> She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. Shank, 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 shank. You feel flesh easily oh. give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is it, isn't it? I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder. Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? It's like... She's convinced she can't die. It's like that. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over? Is it over? Is it really over? All the things I used to say. Okay. Uh, <laughs> of course it is. She's dead. Yes, exactly. It's over. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? No, bro, we're getting the good ending. You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. And leave. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only... A world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. I will. I, I was kind of hoping I'd get a better ending for saving the world. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning of eternity. Your reward. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days, or months, or years, or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. <laughs> Psst. Hey. We're not just gonna stay here forever, right? Shit, sure, we might. Of course we are. I like it here. Really? Well... If you ever change your mind, just let me know, I guess. More happy time passes, though the word begins to lose its meaning. Time, that is, not happy. Happy still has plenty of meaning. So much meaning. Please, shake yourself out of it. We have to get out of here. Mm. The little voices, please, fall on deaf ears. Eventually, you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. Though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift, you simply exist. Happy. Forever. 
We did it. We got the good inning. We we saved everyone. And there's the princess. We killed her. Got some balloons. People clapping for us. We did it. <laughs> so, the first time we played, we were actually like this close to getting that ending. But I believe I changed like what I where I veered off was uh, like I wanted to check the body to make sure she was dead, but her being the shifting mound. You know, kind of playing on uh, whatever your beliefs are, good or bad. You know, so if you if you doubted that she was dead, then she's not dead. And I can't remember exactly what happened from there. I think it was um, it was the beginning of like the the Blade Princess. I forget what she's called, but when she turns into all the blades. So yeah, now the <laughs> we were like this close to it. The princess, the world ender, eternal bliss. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get some more endings, but I'm probably gonna kinda uh, skip through a bunch of stuff until I, I get to like the stuff that is actually different. Um, so I'll see you in the next YouTube chapter here. You're on a path. You're here to slay her. If you don't... Okay, so to get to this ending, we have to get to chapter 2 by any means necessary, and then we are just going to... I'm not so sure running away is the Do best this. idea. We're not the only person stuck here. What about her? Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? Quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue <laughs> down the path away from the cabin. I have nothing to do with this. That's strange. It looks... Turn around again, and leave again. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. Wait, is that what happens when people die? They die forever? I thought you can, like, just choose to come back like, uh, John Lennon. But fine, you turn around and trek back down the path you came. That's a comedy bang bang joke for anybody. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> Wait, something isn't right. Can you still hear me? You're supposed to wind up back at the cabin again. But everything is getting fuzzy. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. What, what's going on? Where are we? I don't know, man. Did we do this? Is this the end of the world? Was there ever even a world to end? The world around you is unwound, its physical matter replaced by a textured nothingness. Tis quiet. There is a distant rumbling, a sound of many sounds, undulations pulse louder as something else as something other comes close. Ah, the hands! Feelers probe across the fabric of reality. Extremities find your consciousness and wrap themselves around it. You are no longer alone. Resistance. Fingers draw, drag claws across the glass surface of your soul. Frustration. This, this vessel is full of you. I need something and empty I can crawl inside of. I need something shaped like me. Um, I think... This is a nightmare wake up is the option. It's not. Ah! Oh, you just Oh my god, then we you down that strain. Oh my god, we're back at the You're cabin. Really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? But fine. Oh. You turn around and wait. Something uh -oh. isn't right. My vision Can is closing. Still... What's going on? Where I told you we shouldn't have come here. Oh no. I told you. <laughs> I told you. The world around you is unwound, its physical matter replaced by textured nothing. It is quiet, you have been here before, memory returns. There's a distant rumbling, a sound of many sounds, undulations pulse louder, something other comes close. The hands are back. I see, so that's the trick, okay. That which dwells in the empty space contracts across the edges of your mind again. She is furious. Betrayal. Every door you close on me is a door you close on yourself. Do you want to linger here, entwined with a creature you taught you taught to hate you forever? 
Eternity never ends. Eternity never ends. Cold spite. Our infinity shrink into something less. I hate you. 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 The world around you is unwound. Its physical matter is replaced by a textured nothing. It is quiet. You have been here before. Memory returns. There is a distant rumbling. A sound of many sounds. Undulations pulse louder. Something other comes close. The hands. Desper, please. I do not hate you. I am sorry I said I hate you. I do not have to hate you. We can still leave this place together. An offering. We can be friends. Ecstasy. You are elated. You have never felt more elated than you feel now. Everything is good. You cannot remember what it is like to feel anything other than euphoric joy. A reminder. We can be worse than enemies. Agony. You are torn into a million pieces and you feel pain in each of them. You have never felt more miserable than you feel now. You cannot remember what it is like to feel anything other than anguish. Mercy. <laughs> you are elated again. You have never felt more elated than you feel now. Contrast, in contrast to the agony you've suffered, this elation is better than all of the other elation you have experienced. Round eyes looking up at you. I need vessels so that I can be finished. I cannot find them on my own, for they are me. You are the only one who can do this. You are our only salvation. You're here. So yeah, it, it seems like we're kind of just basically messing up the whole thing by not allowing her to have like a finished vessel. And so she can't draw power from that or something. Like she needs these vessels for some reason. But let us continue. I think we had to do this a few more times. We're back, 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 back again. Again, again, back in the void, void, void. Tell a friend, friend, the hands. <laughs> yeah, you know, I feel like it's like a Lou Vega. Is it Lou Vega or Vega? I think it's Lou Vega. Either one. Mambo number five. Every time I think of the hands, I think of the trumpet. That's not that's not the trumpet sound either. Okay, sorry, I digress. Uh, dejection. Feelers lump against your soul. Why? Long silence. A hollow heart. I don't want to see you. Oh! Well, that was a bit quicker. <laughs> Been summoned into the void again, again, again. Rumbling, rumbling, so much rumbling. The hands. The feelers hold you in a gentle caress. Resonation. I cannot stop you, but our spool is nearly taut. A warning. If you come here again, we will be here forever. All right. Is that a promise? You're on the <laughs> path. You're here. To <laughs> tee -tee -hee. All right. Let's do this one more time. Apparently, this this ending is going to be full of uh, song references. I apologize. Um, all right. I don't know if it's going to change after this point, but I'm going to come back into the video here. Uh, we're about to leave again. Again. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably but fine. You turn, turn around, around and trek back, back down, down, the, down path the path you came. came. Wait, something isn't right. Can you still Everything's hear me? So You're fuzzy. supposed to wind up back. What, what's going on? Where are we? That what's son going? of a bitch flipped over the table, didn't he? <laughs> The world around you is unwound, its physical matter replaced by a textured nothing. It is quiet, you have been here before. Memory returns. It's the undulations and the hands. <laughs> Oblivion. The many fol folders. The many feelers pull your shape into something formless. You have made a decision. It is the wrong one. I love you. <laughs> Hey, it's my wife to me every time I do something. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, God. I like to have fun here. <laughs> you are bliss. Joy and understanding everywhere at once. Your soul threatens to fade away. I love you. Your agony. Agony? Your agony. A numbing arm. A parched throat. An open wound. Your soul forced back, to, back into existence. I love you. You are bliss. 
joy and understanding everywhere at once. Your soul threatens to fade away. I love you. Your agony. Agony. Okay. Uh, parse throughout your bliss, joy, and understanding. Is it just this forever? Oh, okay. Let's save real quick. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Exist. Oh, okay, so you just, it's either that or you just fade away. Let's fade away. Slay the Princess. So that is another ending. I forget what this is called, but, um, yeah, basically you just kind of like... Um, it's kind of like the one of the, where, like, the princess turns into, like, like you kind of break the multiverse of the princesses. And she becomes, like, three princesses at once. Um, but I guess it's because if you, if you, if you do, if you, yeah, I'm sorry. If you leave the cabin right away, that triggers that ending. But if you, if you basically start a vessel, which is by, you know, starting to run by, like, doing any kind of decision, and then you leave the cabin, she doesn't get her vessel, and she, you know, kind of just messes her up and uh, ruins the whole existence. So yeah, that, that, that's another interesting ending. I kind of like this one too, where it's just like, okay, well, <laughs> I, I guess I just really like the line, uh, everything's gone, you made the wrong decision, I love you. It's just a very, very, a very, a very good ending. All right, we're going to start the next one here. See you in a second. So in this run, we're going to try to get like three endings at once. Um, where we basically make a few decisions and then kind of like, uh, yeah, make a few decisions at the end. But we're going to start off with getting that one ending. I was just talking about how, like, the the princess becomes like the multiverse princess. I think they call her the stranger. Get this. Okay, I had to fake up before I thought we got to, like, the last part. But this is the actual last part, I think, if I remember correctly. If I did all my math right. We get one of the endings by always selecting this choice when the guy, when the the voices are scared of the mirror. Instead of being kind to them, you're kind of just like, eh, fuck you. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. And that's what I've been doing every single time we get a chance to do this. So. Screw that! This can't be the end, it just can't! You better watch your back. You can't get rid of me that easy. That approach is me at all? You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You are nothing at all. Oh. But that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze and then you see it. A figure, faint and veiled in shadow, just beyond the reflection. Are you me? I think you know what I am. Oh my god, it's the narrator. Crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image in the glass in two. Another crack forms and another da da da. So now we get more chances to ask him questions, which I don't exactly remember what we asked him before. Um. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? We've already crossed the point of no return. There's no saving me now. Not that there's ever been much of me to save. Oh. If you're not me, then what are you? I am an Echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? It doesn't hurt. I don't feel pain. Not physically. Others like you, have you said something like that before? Has every narrator really been different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. 
Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. After everything you've done to us, do you think anyone deserves to live? Nobody alive has done anything to you. I'm all gone. But if you and the princess want to smite the rest of them for the crimes of a dead man, if you really want to be that petty, there isn't much I can do to stop you. So he's the remain. So yeah, we knew this before. Like he's the echo of some person that managed to split like the concept of life and death into two parts. And I think I, I can't remember if I got this right last time, but I think we said that she's death. But I think she's life, and we're death. Or maybe it's like a little bit of both, like we have a bit of both in each of us or something. And so that person tried to split the two in order to uh, kind of keep the concept of death away from all of reality. Um, so that people could live forever, I think. I'm not... I'm not good at, uh, at um... Using my noodle here. <laughs> uh, but I, from what I can gather, and I could be wrong, let me know what you think down below. But yeah, I think that's my theory, and I think that's what happened, what's going on. I mean, worst case scenario, just I guess I could look it up on a wiki. But sometimes it's fun to kind of like try to figure it out on your own, you know? What is my true identity? You're the long quiet. The god I made to rid the world of death. Oh. But we are still... He did still split us, I think, and so he managed to make us out of her. She managed to make the long quiet out of both the shifting mound and the long quiet, whatever the combination was, which I guess was the concept of life and death. Uh, uh, do you have anything to say for yourself for all this hubris? I do. The people out there are real. No matter what you do to them, no matter what you enable, I want you to remember that. <laughs> I think we're going to end it here. You have heard enough. The narrator was right. You are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god. And it's finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. So now I think we're getting to the... The real meat and potatoes of this ending here. Well, these endings, I guess. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness. There is nothing for you to find. Ah! Ah! Bah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oops, all princesses. I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. It's been so long. And my heart has ached for this moment. And actually, I've missed the... you dearly. No, I'm sorry. Sorry, Nicole. Good night. Uh, <laughs> and actually, the, the part that kind of diverges is where we take the offer from the voices to go find and slay the princess. And then from there, we can access a few different endings. Um, so we're going to just skip to that. You don't have to face her alone. Here we go. Okay. Thanks, hero. Which hero are you? I'm all of them. I assume in the same way that you're all of you. I thought you died whenever I looked in the mirror. I don't think that's wrong, but I'm not sure it's right either. But we can worry about all that later. You'll never be able to strike a decisive blow from out here. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. Let's go. It's time to resume our dance. 
She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? I'm ready. Then let's go. We're slowly making more definition. Yeah. And here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Do you need me to describe things? <laughs> no, no. That'd be nice. A little comfort in an almost unfamiliar place. Oh, you made it here too. We never really got to talk to her, did we? <laughs> this one, I mean. No hard feelings about taunting us with our deaths, by the way. I thought it was funny. Not sure about the others, though. <laughs> They're not happy. Oh, they'll get over it. <laughs> oh, teehee. All right, now I'm going to save again. Because this is where the true decisions are made. All right. Um, so let's take the blade That's first. probably for the best. It always seems to give us more things we can do. So, you're not going to suggest we throw it out the window? No, we've been through too much for that. And he's gone, so there's no one left to mess with but ourself. You've gotten serious. Besides, what's the third beat? It isn't funny if I suggest that twice, especially since you never took me up on it last time. There's the <laughs> guy I know. <laughs> um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's enter that basement. Those yeah, it was a oh. real mess. Stopped being fun pretty quick. It's okay. You can come down. The stairs won't bite. Not this time. Let's talk one last time before you kill us, if that's still what you want to do. She doesn't sound messy anymore, though. At least somebody here feels put together. And forward we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. That would be rude. That was easy compared to last time. Just stairs. No weird fuzzy stuff or nonsense trying to pull us apart. Okay, so yeah, since we did the stranger ending the first, now she is forever the stranger. Forever the stranger. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Even after everything you've seen, and all the lives we've lived together, you still want to kill us. The Echo really got his hooks into you. Unless... You have your own reasons for wanting us dead? Let us sit with the princess, sisses. I never got the chance to talk to you before you were taken away. Not you, you, at least. I'm sorry for what I did. That's okay. No hard feelings. In a way, you helped us become a version of her. But we weren't very good at it. I don't think a conversation with us then would have been very insightful. That's probably why we are taken away. That's all we had to offer you. It was time to change again. After all we did, she's just forgiving us. Just like that. You know, that means a lot. I don't want to be a god. Hard agree. Seems overrated. Too much pressure. But that's what you've always been. Even now. You can't put aside such an important part of who you are. And neither can we. So, you might as well embrace it. Good point. Are you the same as you are out there? Yes, we think. We're kind of like a shadow. Out there, every part of us is blended together into one huge idea. A big wave of unyielding change crashing against the world. But in here, we're fractured. Small. Still a little more separate than we'd like to be. Our instincts still trying to pull us in different directions. <laughs> and all over the place. That's kind of like us, isn't it? Yeah, we really are the same. With our 30 voices in our head. 
I don't want to hurt anyone. There has to be a way out of here, out of this. We don't think there's a way for us to leave. But maybe there doesn't have to be an ending. The way it all works seems to be based on you. If you believe we can do something, then we can do it. So believe that we can put it all back. Believe we can fix the Echo's construct and make us all forget. Ah, uh, okay. Believe we can send us all back to the beginning, before anyone woke up, before the truth consumed us. Can they really do that? Are you sure that's what you want? So we're kind of stumbling into the reset ending here, so we're I guess we'll just continue on with that. Why wouldn't it be what we want? Especially if it brings him back. We can't keep going without a nemesis. Um, let's, uh, okay. Is there any other way? Our options are limited to what that knife offers us. Either we use it to put things back, or you kill us. We're sure you can figure out which one we'd prefer. But we don't want to influence you. We're sure you'll do what you think is best. If it's time for it to be over, it's time for it to be over. As much as we might want a few more precious lifetimes with you. Okay, let's agree to her plan. Okay. If this is your choice, then I have your back. I guess I'll see you on the other side. Speak for yourself. Maybe I'll see you too. Maybe I won't. <laughs> maybe, they maybe. take the blade from our hand and stare fondly into our eyes. I love you. We love you too. Everything is going to be okay. And then it just restarts. And that's the restart ending. Alright, this time we're just going to go straight for the Slay... Another Slay the Prince's ending, where it's like the long... The Dark Void or something like that. But it's going to be slightly different than the last time we slayed her. So this is really it, then. Let's see this through. So, you've made a choice for all of us. You're welcome. Even through everything. Through all the worlds we've seen and experienced. Through all the lives we've known and lost. We could never imagine a world without you and us. It doesn't feel possible. Well, you're about to find out. Despite it all, we've always loved you. We hope you don't regret what comes next. No, I'm sure it'll be fine. You blink and the princess is gone. All you have left of her is a small melancholic weight. Oh, yeah, melancholic weight that sits at the borders of your heart. Whatever action brought you and the princess into being was rough and jagged and left each of you with a piece of the other. By destroying her once and for all, you also destroyed a part of yourself. But the world hasn't ended. Things continue on. She's gone. And I don't think she's coming back. No, she's not. A small part of her is with us. Is that a metaphor, or are you being literal? It doesn't matter. We don't need to linger down here anymore. Let's get going. <laughs> let's, let's get out right. of here. We've got a whole world to see. You leave the basement behind. Then take the stairs. And then you leave the cabin itself. It's quiet here. Yeah, there's not a lot for us to do, is there? The path and the woods outside are an empty canvas, but there is even more to see beyond this place. The fruits of your labor. A world free from death. Set yourself free. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation, and you feel sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here is you. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale, but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonizing tension to a finite plane. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and string against it. But it does not yield. Come on now. It shouldn't be that hard to break out of here. We're some sort of god, aren't we? He's got a point. The man's got a point. He's gone. She's gone. No one is left to trap us here but 
us. Open your heart and bear witness to your new kingdom! <laughs> oh, at once the unyielding tension gives away. Or gives way. Wow! It's beautiful. And then the shattering. You are free, and before you lies the endless expanse of absolute reality. A new absolute reality, one forged by your will and by a long and arduous cycle of bloodshed that has stained your hands countless times over. But there will be no more bloodshed in this new world. We didn't forget what you told us. Uh oh. You thought we'd be gone. Thought you could taunt us with death. They're a little upset about the mirror stuff. We never left. We've just been quiet, hiding somewhere else. But we don't need to be quiet any longer. Uh oh. We're the house now. We get to make the rules. And I'm not sure you'll like those new rules. You should never make assumptions about things you don't know. Like whether or not the voices in your head will be gone for good. <laughs> that's, that's fair. <laughs> you never, never assume. Torturer. And to think I thought we could rely on you. Can't even trust ourselves. This is going to be fun, isn't it? Oh, no. Slaying our beloved and threatening us with damnation. There's no good ending for you. Even the Smitten's angry. You all need to lighten up. Telling us we were going to die was funny. <laughs> I'm not sure they agree with you. Voices get around. Knives out, boys. It's time to get to work. How are they going to... How do voices hurt? So yeah, that's the... I forget what the ending is called, but that's the version where basically you're not kind to the voices in your head. You're, you're just like, hey, it's the ending for you, but not for me. And you continue on with your life. All right, let's get to the next and final ending, I think. Which will be a little bit happier. Uh, this time we're just going to enter the basement. No blade, huh? Have you given up on slaying her? If that's what you think is best, then that's what you think is best. I'm just along for the ride at this point. Those winding stairs again. Yeah, it was a ri It's okay. Let's... T she doesn't say... And forward we go. That was he? Yeah, that wasn't so... No knife? Even after everything you saw out there, and all the lives we've ended together, and you coming right out and saying you'd rather see us dead... You're second-guessing yourself? Oops, Tihi. We thought we could see everything. But this is outside of the script. <laughs> Are we missing a page? Just because you think you can see everything doesn't mean you do see everything. Whoa. <laughs> Sit with him. Alright, I don't want to be God. Are you the same as you are out there? I wanted to slay the you out there. It's easier to want to kill an abstract concept than it is as a person. As weird a person as you are. Who are you calling weird? You. Just kidding. We know we're weird. And so are you. Nah, -uh, I'm a cool guy. <laughs> we don't have many options, though, do we? There are only so many places to go, and you don't have a means to slay us. So, what will we do? <laughs> I think the only thing... I th what if we just leave? He'd hate that. So you should do it. Even if he isn't here anymore, it's the spirit of the thing. Right. <laughs> Leave? But what would happen if we left with you? Would we exist inside ourselves? Are you sure you want to find out if that's possible or what that would mean for you? Is that what you want? Let's do it, baby. I've always wanted to leave with you, but I didn't like being a god. I want to walk through the ca that cabin door as we are, just you and me. After so many iterations, so many different versions of us clashing and coming together and clashing again, leaving with you feels like all we ever really wanted. I think I'm going to stay right here. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're going, it feels like it's for just the two of you. Aw, oh, thanks, Hero. Yeah, I think we've done our job. Aw, oh, contrarian. <laughs> Are you two going to be okay alone? We're not alone. We have each other. Aw, oh, friendship. And I'm sure we'll find the others. Alright, let's leave with the princess. 
You lead and the princess follows, and together you leave the basement behind for the last time. As quiet as you ascend, a comfortable silence filling the space that used to be flooded with violence and words and noisy thoughts. But there is an energy in the silence, an electricity, the anticipation of the unknown. At the top of the stairs, the princess stalls, eyes fixed on the cabin door. You can see attention sees them. They're unsure of themselves for the first time in their long and short existence. They have no part to play anymore, and they know this. Yet they still are. And then they cross the room to the door outside. You follow their confident steps. We can feel the threads of all the stories we've told together, all pulling us back down the stairs and into those chains where we know the outcome of everything that could ever come to pass. It's comfortable there, but it's confining. We want more. We want whatever might be on the other side of this door. Something new that we'll experience together, with someone who exists outside of us. With someone who can see us in a way we can never see ourselves. Mm. I love you. And we love you too. It's, I haven't addressed this at all, but it is interesting to see the, like the four princesses merge. It might be infinite princesses because we always seem to see three, but if I'm looking at this right, I see like one here. You see like the, when you're normally facing her, you see this one and this one and the one over here, but apparently she has a back princess too. So, you know, there's like four of them or infinite. Who knows? This stuff's trippy. And we did it. That is all of the endings for um, Slay the Princess. That's a, pretty, that's a pretty good game. I really like the... Uh, the um, I really enjoy the, the game itself. I like how there's so many twists and turns. Like you can... On just like the variations of the runs themselves is insane. There's so many different things that we haven't even seen yet. Um... I do know that Manly Badass Hero has a bunch of videos of Slay the Princess where he kind of just goes through a run at each time. I think he's beaten it. I can't remember. I, I've only, I only saw like a half of one video before I was, um, before I decided that I wanted to do a let's play of this. But now I'm going to check out all those videos. So I highly recommend that you do that too. Um, other than that, I appreciate you all hanging out with me on this journey. It's been a fun one. Um, whenever the next Slay the Princess, the, the the updated Slay the Princess game comes out, I don't know if we'll get right back to it. We might wait until next year to get to it, just to kind of like space it out a little bit. Um, but yeah, no, this was a really fun game. I really enjoyed this. It's a fun story. It's heartwarming. It's sad. It's everything all at once. And yeah. Sorry, I got like a hiccup at the last second there. Oh god. Ugh. Oh my god, I'm dying. Okay. <laughs> so that's it for me. Thank you all so much. And we'll see you in the next series. Okay. <laughs> bye bye.